Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, we're going to talk about the relativistic units of mass. So here we have the mass of a proton, which is 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms, which is, of course, a really small number because a proton is a really small object. But we also know that E equals mc squared, and of course, subnaut symbols means when it's at rest, because we know that when objects move very close to the speed of light, they gain a lot of mass. And so this is their rest mass energy. So in terms of relativ relativity, we can say that the rest mass energy is equal to the rest, or I should say the rest mass is equal to the rest mass energy divided by the speed of light squared. Now let's calculate the energy of a proton using this equation right here. So we can say that the rest energy of a proton is equal to the rest mass times c squared, which is equal to 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms times 3 times 10 to the 8, oops, that should be an 8, 8 meters per second quantity squared, because we have to square that. And so when we do that, what do we get? So with the calculator, we get 1.67 e to the 27 minus times 3 e to the 8 squared equals. So we get 1.503, 1.503 times 10 to the minus 10, and that would be joules. The energy, of course, would be in joules. And then we want to convert that to the units that we typically use in relativity, which is electron volts. So we're going to multiply this times 1 electron volt divided by 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. So that's how we convert from joules to electron volts. So divide by 1.602 e to the 19 minus equals, and we get 938.2 MeVs for million electron volts. And this should be a V. So let's make it a V. There we go. So 938.2 million electron volts is the rest mass energy of a proton. So how do we express the rest mass then in relativistic terms? So this is equal to 800, or I should say 938.2 million electron volts divided by C squared. And this is really the way they like to express mass in relativistic terms. So they write it as the energy in million electron volts divided by c squared. That's called the rest mass energy divided by the speed of light squared. So mass is expressed in terms of energy over c squared, not in terms of joules like we typically would in normal physics. Wow, that's quite a change. So what is the rest mass energy of an electron? Well, it turns out the, the rest mass of an electron is equal to the energy of an electron. Oop getting ahead of myself, divided by c squared, and the energy, the rest mass energy of an electron is equal to 512,000 electron volts, and we divide that by c squared, and this would then be the mass of an electron. So this is the mass of a proton, and this is the mass of an electron, and it's written in terms of their rest mass energy divided by c squared, and that's typically how we write a lot of the masses of these small subatomic particles. And that's how it's done in relativity.